Okay, in this problem we have a one kilogram object with a charge of 10 coulombs and it starts from rest and moves across a potential difference of 25 volts. What is the final speed? So, okay, well here's my object. Let's draw it here like this and let's do a solid fill. Let me just make that like a green object. And that object we know it has a definite mass and it has a definite charge. So uh, the mass is going to be uh, one kilogram and I know that the charge on that object is going to be 10 coulombs. I'm just giving you the mass and the charge because to know final speed we need to know uh, we need to know what the mass is because different masses are going to accelerate at different rates. Different masses are going to have final speeds at different rates. Alright so if I took this object here and I clone it and I go a little bit out into the future here at some point this object is going to gain speed right and it's across this field so if I did like a stop motion camera here eventually this is going to pick up some speed if I put it across a uh, a voltage so the first thing I want to do I want to identify the type of charge that it is here it's going across a, a potential difference of 25 volts it didn't really tell me which side it was on so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that I'm at 25 volts here uh, positive 25 it's like the top of the mountain right voltage is similar to altitude on a map right so it's how high the potential is and then over here we would have zero volts here uh, and so if I want to move from right to left this voltage here okay the positive voltage is where the positive charge will be so this would cause this to accelerate so this is going to pick up speed and at some point at the end it's going to have its maximum speed at the end there okay so how do I find what that speed is well I can use conservation of energy if I had energy of A here, I've had energy of B here, and I've had energy of C here, all the energies are going to be equal, right? It's, it's, it's conservation of energy. So I basically can set uh, the energy of A, the start here, this is the start, right? And I can take the energy of C, which is going to be the finish here, right? This is the finish, right? And I can set them equal, right? I can say, okay, the energy of A equals energy of C. So I can say, okay, the potential of A plus the kinetic of A equals the potential of C plus the kinetic of C. So we're starting from rest, right? So the kinetic at A is zero and I'm ending up at max speed with no potential at the end. So that potential is zero. So the potential of a charge in a field is going to be QV, the voltage at that point, and it's going to equal one half mv squared. And so if I want to just complete this up here, I'm going to solve for little v. That speed big V is voltage, right? That's equal potential. So let me just, just clarify here. This is the charge. The big V is the voltage or the potential. The, this little m is the mass. And this little v is the speed, right? So I'm going to go ahead and solve for the little speed there. I'm going to multiply it across, right? So I'm going to say that um, v squared is going to equal 2qv over uh, m, right? So I'm going to flip those those charges out. I'm going to take the square root. So V is going to be the square root of 2QV over M. Okay, so I plug those numbers in. I will get V is going to be 2 times 10 is the charge, times 25 is the voltage, and divided by the mass, which is 1, right? So I'm going to end up with the final speed of this object is going to be uh, the square root of 500 meters per second. So that's going to give us a little bit over 20, right? So it's going to give us about 22.36 meters per second. So that's how fast it's moving at the end of that uh, voltage. Uh, and so we put it across this field here, and we started with 25 volts. We started, at, we finished at zero volts. Um, and just one final metaphor here again with the voltage is this is like the top of the mountain. Okay, we're talking about altitude. And this is like, or the hill, the top of the hill, the mountain, whatever you want to say. And zero volts is like sea level if we're talking about altitude there. And so we can use energy very quickly to find out how fast that object's going.